Right then, this is a quick walk around video on a bit of a windy day, I'm afraid. Uh, this is for a lovely car. It's for a Honda CRV, 2 litre EX manual, finished in this lovely passion red, um, which never looks good on the videos of the pictures. In the flesh, it's absolutely gorgeous. This car's covered 87,000 miles, um, got a lovely service history attached to it as well. And it's in really, really good condition. Front of the car, lights and lenses you can see, clear, intact, without any cracks or condensation. Bumpers clean, bonnet extraordinarily clean for a car of its age, not to say there isn't the odd minuscule stone chip. Near side, again, wonderfully clean in the panel work. Near side front alloy, absolutely unblemished. Panel work again, extraordinarily clean for a 10 year old car. So this is the first of this shape on this age. Near side rear alloy, again, absolutely unmarked. It really is incredibly crisp and clean. Come on the back again, likewise, all still very clean. Off side of the vehicle, as you can see there, no indentations, no car parking dinks to speak of. Off side rear alloy, absolutely lovely. The remaining panel work is unbelievably clean, as I said. And find that alloy again, absolutely unmarked. So for the age of mileage, that is exceptional. Coming to the boot area, absolutely massive. It's been kept absolutely beautifully. Coming to the back of the car now, enormous amounts of leg room. And the leather work and interior for a car, I say this age of mileage, but more importantly for the use these CLEs normally had. That is one of the cleanest you'll see. It's coming to the front now. Passenger side, again, all very clean. Passenger seat itself, so exceptionally clean there. Coming to the front now, driver's door card, very clean as well. And then coming to the driver's seat, which is the one that's going to show anywhere. And so it has got some, but it's minor for the age of the car. It is one of the cleaner ones you'll see anywhere. So we're inside the car now, engines running this section as they always do, so the dash can be seen illuminated. Again, the dashboard is just wonderful condition. Sat nav, as you can see, working perfectly. If you pop the car into reverse. That lovely clear gridded parking camera, which complements the front and rear parking sensors. It's uh, really, really, really clean in here. Um, up to the dash binnacle, hopefully you can see. 87,207 miles. And there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all. Finally, just to show you, owner's manual pack and lock and wheel night key are both here and present with the car. Right then, this is a quick road test video. <coughs> and this is for a Honda CRV 2 litre EX manual. This car's registered RV62, I think it's VCX, or I can't quite read that, VKX rather. Um, mileage of 87,202 miles recorded. Reason for all of our videos, basically just so you can see the car in operation to do with all of our cars um, because like so many people we've been to see lots of cars which can look perfectly good and to drive them then you find out they've got an obvious fault so that's why we do the videos so coming to the car in question we just purchased this from a honda main dealer um, been very well looked after um, it's literally just arrived not been cleaned nothing yet although it hardly needs anything. It's an absolutely lovely condition. Um, engine starts, your press button starts on the top of the range cars and starts instantly and settles to a smooth, even idle. Uh, there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all related to the engine or any other part of the car. And after nearly two hours of driving, temperature gauge is on a third, which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda car. The engines are brilliant, absolutely brilliant engines. Um, Honda are the build, build of the best four-cylinder engines in the world, bar none, because they give you everything you want, a refined, economical, smooth, lovely engine, but one that's also incredibly tough and reliable. So much so that we own one, <coughs> a petrol EX manual. Ours has actually done 112,000 miles and still drives exactly like this. Um, they are incredibly, incredibly strong. Uh, but just a lovely engine to use day in day out so smooth and sweet natured um, engine then feeds them to clutch and gearbox clutch on the car is absolutely perfect bike points smooth positive and, and bike points is exactly where it's meant to be um, 
gearbox in the car, six speed manual gearbox. Again, just a lesson to other manufacturers in how to do gearboxes. It's perfect, it's short in throw, it's precise, accurate, beautifully weighted, um, makes you feel, um, you know, it's one of the gearbox sort of detracts from operating it, but actually, sorry, I'm just gonna zip past this. All right. Um, it just is a gear which I actually enjoy using, which is a real rarity in modern cars. And that feels exactly like it would have done when it was new, by the way. It just there's no wear in it at all. Steering on the car, tracks absolutely dead straight. There's no vibrations at this speed, up, any speed up to the limit. And again, a really lovely power steering system. Uh, again, especially this type of car, because it's very accurate and precise. Uh, nicely weighted, makes you feel very confident and secure on the road. Um, but when you go into the corners like these, with the chassis, it flows absolutely beautifully. Minimal body roll, um, lovely composure through the corners. Um, it really is a really very well designed and thought out chassis, uh, along with the steering, because you know, problem with SUVs, it seems manufacturers seem to think that you've got to drive a truck, not a car. And this is very, very car-like. Um, it's not to say it's sporty, because it's not, uh, but it's very, very capable. It also rides beautifully. Um, it's got a lovely damped quality to the ride. Uh, it's a well damped ride. Um, it's smooth, it's compliant, but it said it's firm enough to allow the body control you get through the corners. Um, there's also absolutely no noises from underneath the car, no rattles, no clonks, nothing at all. It drives as tight as a drum. Um, just gonna give the brakes a good old shove, make sure no one's directly behind me. Right, really good brake pedal in the car, nice and solid. Um, what I'm looking for is sort of any pulsing or vibrations of which there is nothing at all. Um, coming inside, they said, we've not cleaned it, but in just lovely condition. And I mean, it's a 10 year old car, 87,000 miles, and absolutely no squeaks, no rattles, and that, that's real build quality. You know, as I often say, build quality isn't squidgy plastics and funky sounding doors. It's how it all stays together over the duration of ownership. And this is where these are light years ahead of pretty much anything else in their class. Um, all working, sat nav, air conditioning, which blows out absolutely ice cold air, heated seats, uh, all the functions work on the steering wheel here. All the quality, uh, the switches have this lovely quality of actuation which you get from Honda, and beautifully de designed. Um, binnacle in front, it's just simple, easy, legible, lovely to use. Um, this is a four-wheel drive version of the CRV, albeit Honda worked out very quickly that most of its customers would be doing what I'm doing today, driving where you don't need four-wheel drive. The uh, problem with permanent four-wheel drive is, by definition, it's permanently on, and that means you're going to be using your tyres up more quickly, you'll use more fuel, and you'll put more mechanical stress through the vehicle. Um, this is genius, basically it runs in front wheel drive pretty much the whole time. Um, as and when it needs to, it'll activate the rear wheels if the front wheels start to lose grip and it reacts more quickly than you ever could because it does it through the traction control of the car. Um, and it's seamless, absolutely brilliant. Um, it's only a brief video, a bit briefer than normal actually. Um, it drives ridiculously well and this is why they are so sought after because they just don't seem to wear and it's incredibly, I mean, it just drives as close to new as you could expect any used car of this age to drive. It, you know, I, I cannot fault it in any way, shape or form. Um, and I'm judging that by very low mileage ones. As always though, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call.